What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. And I want to talk to you guys about a trader. A trader named Shuei Yoshida. So Shuei Yoshida uh, tries Microsoft HoloLens and calls it super cool. Cool. So Shuei Yoshida decided that he's going to go try out this HoloLens. And he did post a tweet saying, I'm going to try this special HoloLens experience with a thumbs up. The thumbs up. That means this is cool. That means this is good. You never do that. He also went on there to go uh, put on the HoloLens and then post another tweet saying, do I look cool in the HoloLens? And, you know, then he also met up with uh, Aaron Greenberg and, uh, you know, they talked about video games and Aaron Greenberg left out a tweet saying, an honor to meet Shuhei Yoshida at E3 today. Fun talking about games with them. A true class act. And then Shuhei Yoshida also responded with saying, thanks, Aaron, for letting me experience the super cool HoloLens experience. Traitor. Traitor. You don't hang out with the enemy unless you're trying to look and see what kind of cool things are in the HoloLens. But he didn't do that. No, to be serious, uh, this is actually a really good thing. I mean, you know, both of them kind of coming together. I mean, it would have been cooler if it was Phil. But, you know, at least I'm going over there and saying, hey, I want to check out what you guys got. You guys can come check out our stuff. They always say nice, cordial things to each other instead of fuel the flames of the fanboy console wars. But they're not doing that. Just kidding. But no, this, this is this is really good uh, for them, you know, to come out there and show support for each other. And so everybody that, hey, they don't hate each other's guts. Although people truly believe that they hate each other's guts, but that's okay. At least they're showing the world that they don't hate each other. And that's just as much fun. Whatever. Now, moving off from that news right now, this is going to come to a bit of a shock, as a lot of people will probably know. I talked about the whole entire uh, Nintendo press conference and their Muppet disaster, but uh, apparently their stock has dropped quite a bit since that whole entire thing. So Nintendo's stock price uh, dropped uh, fairly significantly after E3 2015 digital event. Uh, I guess the message boards and social networks kind of went crazy after the whole entire event, saying how much it really sucked ass. So Reggie came out there and he corrected a apology that we thought we got from Satoru Iwata about the whole entire E3 experience not being great. So uh, Reggie came out there and he said, Iwata did not apologize for Nintendo's E3. We make great games. We make great games. I don't know where they are, but they make great games. And so uh, he said this was not an apology. Uh, it was a statement about the content we were showing. Essentially, it was an I hear you message. Like, Lend me your ears. Yeah. So uh, he said the uh, original one uh, started out where it said that, thank you for watching. We take the opinions of our digital event seriously, and we will work to better meet your expectations. But Reggie said what he actually meant to say was that he's in Japan, and he was trying to do is help explain to our customers in Japan what's going on at E3. Uh, the correct translation of this message was, thank you for your feedback. We hear you. And we are committed to continuing to meet your expectations uh, was essentially his message. Okay, I would rather have had the apology than have this. If this is the correct translation, then this sucks pretty bad. You know, you said it sucked. You admitted that it sucked. And you told us and we said, I'm sorry, we're going to fix it. We're going to make it right with the NX next year. We're going to do something. But this just basically says, no, we didn't do anything wrong. Everything is perfect. People want to watch Muppets. See, what the problem with Nintendo is that they didn't grow up with us, okay? As we grew up, they just stayed the same. And they think we're going to keep going back. So with the whole entire Nintendo conference, you know, of course, they had Muppets in it. I mean, Reggie feeds the Muppets, all kind of Muppets. And they decided that this is what adults want to watch because this is a newsflash, but adults buy games. There was not five-year-old kids watching Muppets on E3. It was adults watching it. And when we see Muppets, we want to run because some Muppets are scary. Just, just putting that out there. So, uh, so Reggie also did something really cool. He did uh, indicate that the NX was a home console. Uh, he made a statement saying, uh, we said publicly that we are hard working on our next home console. And that's another element that we are taking uh, we we're talking about much later. So he did come out there and say, hey, this is going to be a home console. I know a lot of people were worried it was going to be something else, some kind of weird hybrid or something like that. But apparently it is going to be an actual home console, which may actually help them out. Because as you know, the Wii U sucks. 
sucks so bad they don't even show any games for it. Not even one game. It's just like here, just it's all 3DS. So that is a, this statement I believe is a little distraction to try to say, hey, focus on NX, don't focus on the Muppets because because Muppets are cool for 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 people in their twenties. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. You know, so my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. And after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, even got mugs. There's nothing in the mug.